the excitement of being able to do something really remarkable with that wood that you're not going to possibly have another opportunity to have something like that because you don't know when you're going to find something that exciting again. You know, even my buddy that does metalworking, he's like, I don't understand all this wood crap, man. He's like, I order steel, it's the same every time. So you can't just go into the shop and think, well, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna knock that out today and woo, we're gonna get this done. You look at a project that was just fantastic and you're like, man, I, wow, I did that. That's really cool. Working with wood has changed me in the sense that a lot of things you do during the day are standard, so to speak, and you're doing it in a certain way, and that's just the way it works. Wood doesn't work that way. It doesn't really care what you're thinking, um, and you've got to figure that out, and it's different every single time. You could get a piece of wood that's just a little bit different, or the grain's a little bit different, and it's going to react differently. or cause you an unwanted situation that you have to figure out how to work through. So what I really enjoy about it is the end product and knowing that you figured that out and got it to work. I'm Steve Cook and I have Coastal Wood Design and we do woodworking, wood turning. I have a studio in Pembroke, Georgia. I have my shop in Pooler, Georgia and we do a wide variety of custom woodworking projects, historic windows, Wood island countertops, millwork, doors, architectural, wood turning, columns, null posts, spindles, things of that nature. And I do a lot of gift items and cutting boards, pepper mills, salt shakers, bowls, plates, platters, things like that. Anything out of wood really that most people would want. I would say my work is kind of wrapped up into one passion. I mean, I love what I do. I love all that I do. I love doing the wood turning when I'm at the farm. I love the woodworking at the shop. I love adding on to the barn. If you look at it from the, what I would say, the right perspective, you're just happy about the work you do and you're not thinking about it other than you're happy to be working. You can always learn something from what you're doing and figure it out and I think that's what helps me with a lot of things because we do so many different things. They all intertwine in ways that you never imagined and, and you can work all that together and I think it makes every aspect better. So this is one of Coastal Wood Design's custom projects that we completed about five years ago. This is a private library for a gentleman in Savannah, Georgia, and it is all cherry. And this took several months to complete. We made everything that you see in here. This is all handmade, hand carved. Everything that is in here was made at the shop at Coastal Wood Design. And we had wonderful drawings from a fabulous architect that really made this a much easier project but this is this is pretty intense between the curved work and the detail the level of detail that went on in here and how everything came together a lot of people try it and they're like ah it wasn't for me or i didn't you know it got messed up or it didn't turn out so well well as the old saying goes the the master has failed more than the apprentice has tried you got to keep doing it and you got to be stubborn enough to keep doing it. There are a lot of things that when I first started out I never thought I'd be able to do, especially wood turning wise and even some of the woodworking. I, 20 years ago you couldn't have told me that I'd be doing what I'm doing right now. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have believed you and probably would have called you crazy. You got to keep pushing, you got to keep trying, you got to keep doing. This is the shop here at Coastal Wood Design. One of the projects we're currently working on is some timber frame brackets for a hotel in South Carolina. These particular timbers are 10 by 10, rough sawn western red cedar. We will take a large circular saw, map this out. Once we get this cut with the saw, we'll let it air dry for a little while. We'll give it a little scuff coat to get rid of the splinters and the sharp stuff. It'll get stained. It'll get assembled with the aluminum gusset plates that we have, holes drilled, ready to go, and then we'll take that all back apart ship it to South Carolina to my guys up there who are installing these things on scaffolding and 
boom lifts and whatnot, so we try to make sure that everything goes as well as possible in the shop, so when they get them up in the air, that it's as simple as possible for them and easy. Some of these brackets are 100 feet up in the air, and that's that gets a little tricky, so I don't want them doing anything that they don't have to do up there. I try to make it easy for them. I would say the most favorite part about what I do is seeing the process from start to finish and seeing when you start with a really cool piece of wood and you wind up with a door or a window or a bowl or whatever it is you're making, but to see the process and know where you started and the fact that that was a tree standing in the woods someplace that has now been basically repurposed 